five step. My proudest moments as a teacher um, are not big performances and big public displays. Uh, my proudest moments are honestly when I see a kid who's been struggling, let it relax, let it relax, let it relax, let it relax. There's that moment where all of a sudden it, it just clicks for them and they understand they can do it on their own. Take the constants completely away, okay? I've got a, a young lady this year that's been struggling with sight reading and I remember looking at her one day and she's carrying her part by herself within the section, right? That's why we do this, to, to give them the skills to continue doing it uh, forever. Personally to me, Mr. Bennett, I would say he's my friend, but I would also see him as like, kind of like a father to me. Um, anytime I need something going on, like I always got to talk to Mr. Bennett. <laughs> What's up? He's always made sure that if he can help me get there, he wants to see me succeed. And I think that that is the one thing that I'm very thankful to have him in my life still. I hope that uh, I give them the skills needed to be successful in whatever they choose. How to persevere, how to work hard, how to commit yourself to something, and to work together within a team to achieve that goal, because really those are the skills they're gonna need to be successful in life. Yo, 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 careful there, careful there, bare tones. You know, we have a really large organization. We've got 140 students this year. It's phenomenal to watch it grow. It's crazy to watch it grow, um, but I know that it's really, really special, because again, I was there in his first, I think, four years of his teaching. So to watch him kind of just take on this monster now um, is amazing. Just time management, scheduling, trying to make sure we get everybody in the right classes, um, making the best use of our time because we do have limited rehearsal time, and just keeping all the pieces moving to allow us to be successful. You know, those are the biggest challenges that we have to overcome uh, on a yearly basis. Good evening and welcome to the seventh annual Vertical Concert with the Cane Bay Choirs. We are so happy to have you here. The Vertical Concert is just a way for all of the like elementary, middle, and high school to just get together. And then we're gonna combine all of these students together for one piece. Like they're separate, and then we'll also have like one that's all together, so it's super cool to sing with all these people who are in all the grades. We had over a thousand people in the auditorium. We had 450 kids on stage in a choral community that exists here in Cane Bay, right? And so, that is what we've what we've managed to um, to build here. You see all these people who are like like in high school and stuff, and I was like, man, you know, it'd be cool to be there one day. And then like once I got into middle school, I was like, yeah, I really want to do this. I want to do this all the way till I'm in high school and be in that position. Watching what you can eventually become is important, and I think that I'm happy that he's invested all the way down to the elementary school, understanding that 10 years from now I'm going to have you, and when I have you, I want you to see this is what you can be. The biggest thing that we do here to help us kind of remain centered is that we are what we repeatedly do. We are what we repeatedly do. We started this probably eight years ago. It's kind of our mantra. Um, every time we're together, whether it's a, a rehearsal or whether it's a meeting, um, we at the end of that, our closure is we are what we repeatedly do. Therefore, excellence is not an act, but I, and I hate it because I <laughs> ended up finishing it. Yeah. <laughs> And the kids say, therefore, excellence is not an act, but a habit. And so it reminds us that every single time we're together, we're here to create excellent habits. Whatever I'm doing in life, if I commit myself to it every single day and I create those habits, then excellence will come. Um, and so that's the biggest thing that we, that we do. And it completely changed the way our choir operated and the way we perform and the way we rehearse for the better. It's odd to say, but I think that he made people take choir seriously here. He made people realize it's not just this thing where everybody can just making a noise, but it's like, no, you can do this, and it's just as important as sports. So we build this culture of music is important, right? And, and, and whether or not you're gonna be in choral music, music is important in uh, Cane Bay and in our community. Now people come to our district and think, no, the choirs here are good, and this is where we can actually make a profession out of it. It was the first time seeing that you can make a profession out of just singing. Um, and I think that he made that happen here, especially. These kids are learning so much more through music, and I wouldn't give that up for anything. We all we repeatedly do. Therefore, excellence is not an act, but a habit. <laughs>
See you on Monday. <laughs>